Hello, social media friends. I'm Viridiana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News. And Danny Barrera has the story. The Hector County ISD police, along with local law enforcement agencies, engaged in solo officer active shooter response training at the Whitaker Building located on the west side of Odessa High School. Officers with the Odessa Police Department, the Texas Department of Public Safety, Hector County Sheriff's Office, the Medical Center Hospital Police Department, and Odessa Fire Rescue participated in the training. In Hector County, we've been practicing solo officer response for about four years now. So it's nothing new to our county. Uh, it's uh, it's, you know, it's kind of changed from the beginning stages of what, like you see with the alert training and things like that, uh, is where instead of waiting for a team to show up to go in and address the situation, it's now up to that single officer that gets on scene first. Hector County ISD has been training in active shooter response events at various ECISD campuses for over 20 years. Uh, we do this every summer. We do it throughout the school year. Uh, training in this area is something that we're quite proficient in and we stay proficient in. Uh, the agencies and so that operate within Hector County as well. Uh, we all operate together and train together. So for our area, uh, I think we're very well prepared for, for what has come and what will come uh, in the future. Local law enforcement agencies along with the Odessa College Police Department involved in the solo officer active shooter response training use simulated ammunition, also known as simunitions, a non-lethal, non-toxic rounds that come in different calibers. That's the role I played today as the suspect this morning for them. So I was an active threat in the campus and they came in and addressed the threat with real simunition rounds being fired on target. What does that mean? A simunition round is a plastic projectile that's fired from a simunition pistol that when it hits its target, it leaves a marking on it. So, in, so you'll know whether you've been hit or not. Does it hurt? It hurts. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. I've done it long enough where I know what's coming. So we, we prepare for it, you know, we put a padding on where we can, but you know, you can't cover everything. But, uh, it, you know, I know that the training is beneficial to help protect our kids, so we're all more than willing to play the suspect in this and take those rounds. Assistant ECISD Police Chief Jeff Daniels says that Odessa and Hector County law enforcement agencies are very well prepared and staying prepared every day in the event of an active shooter event in an Hector County ISD school. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Thank you for following us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and also at DRB Media Communications Digital News TV. And for DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.